New Jersey health officials have confirmed another medically fragile child died at a pediatric rehabilitation center Friday afternoon amid an outbreak of a respiratory virus associated with communal living arrangements. The Winax Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation in Heskel has been trying to control the spread of adenovirus in care for the 25 young patients known to be suffering despite a former patient alleging the center smelled of urine and feces. Pending lab results, the state's health department said only eight of the deaths so far were found to be connected to the outbreak, but admitted the latest patient to pass away was suffering from the virus. Scroll down for video CBS Interactive Privacy Policy This is a tragic situation, and our thoughts are with the families who are grieving right now, Health Commissioner Drive. Sharif El Nihil said in a press release, We are working every day to ensure all infection control protocols are continuously followed and closely monitoring the situation at the facility. Adenovirus affects the respiratory system and can cause mild to moderate illness in those affected. In very rare cases like this one it can have a serious effect out with many of the children already suffering from illnesses that compromise the immune system, this particular outbreak has caused devastating effects. Former patient, Eugene Dorio who stayed at the hospital for eight weeks due to complication with diabetes told CBS2 the conditions were not acceptable. He claimed that when he mentioned the children's center always smelled of urine and feces on his weekly visits, the carers would simply blame the patient's bodily functions. It was really dirty, they didn't really take care of me, the 66-year-old said about his own unit. It was like I had to wait for another shift to come in another two hours to change me, and this went on daily. The hospital denied the claims. As part of an ongoing effort to ensure all infection control measures are followed, we are taking extra steps to monitor residents and staff for any signs of infectious illness, doctor. El Nehal explained the press release. Those affected from September 26 to October 22 range from toddlers to young adults, with the vast majority under the age of 18. The outbreak won't be declared over until the center can go four weeks without patients being newly infected. The ninth person to die at Wanak Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation became ill with the virus before October 22. Symptoms can include the common cold, sore throat, bronchitis, pneumonia, diarrhea, pink eye, fever, bladder inflammation or infection, inflammation of the stomach and intestines and neurological disease. The Department of Health Communicable Disease Service is on site monitoring the outbreak, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, is assisting with lab testing and expertise. The facility will not admit new residents for the duration of the outbreak, and professional grief counseling is on offer to those impacted. Christine Paulus previously said her 16-year-old daughter, Elizabeth Paulus, had been receiving medical treatment at the Winack Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation for Unrelated Health Issues when she suddenly fell ill with a fever at the start of October. Her mother told WABC, I just want to know what happened. She's gone. I can't bring her back. She's not coming back. I'm angry. I think what it is, I need to know more information. I like facts. The New York woman said the hospital didn't report the incident to state officials until October 9, roughly five days after the family had been notified. Disney privacy policy last Sunday. Health inspectors found minor hand-washing deficiencies and infection control issues at the facility, which houses elderly people and children.
the facility has been cited for numerous health code violations in the past. According to NBC News, citations were issued in 2016 and 2017 for hand washing deficiencies, not storing syringes properly, improperly disinfecting surfaces in syringes, and unsanitary storage of oxygen tank tubing. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, adenoviruses can be spread by an infected person coughing or sneezing. Droplets fly through the air and land on surfaces. Share this article Share a child can catch the virus by touching an infected person or if they touch the toy or an object of someone with the virus and then touch their face without washing their hands. In some cases, adenoviruses can be spread through the stool of an infected person, such as while changing a diaper. It's also possible to get sick by eating food prepared by somebody who did not wash their hands properly after using the bathroom. The origin of the outbreak at the Winac Center remains unclear. Nicole Kurgan, a spokeswoman for the health department, told Daily Mail, in a statement that the outbreak was caused by adenovirus type 7. According to the CDC, type 7 is most commonly associated with acute respiratory disease. A vaccine has been approved for types 4 and 7 by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, but only for U.S. military personnel at risk for infection. In 2016, 23 children were infected with adenovirus after receiving eye exams at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, resulting in the death of an infant. Staff attributed the outbreak to medical personnel not wearing gloves and not cleaning equipment properly. Philly.com reported in August that the parents of the infant who died, Melanie Sanders, are suing the hospital for negligence, 